Finally, the exact RTX 4060 Ti launch date has leaked. The 8GB version of the RTX 4060 Ti will be available for purchase on May 24th. This means that an official announcement could happen as early as next week. Interestingly, Nvidia has two more 60 class graphics cards lined up for launch soon. Those are the RTX 4060 with 8GB of memory, scheduled to launch in the first half of July, and the RTX 4060 Ti with 16GB of memory, now expected in the second half of July. By the way, according to the latest leaks, AMD will launch its mainstream Radeon RX 7600 8GB graphics card on May 25th, with reviews going live one day before that on May 24th. So, it appears that Nvidia wants to steal some of AMD's thunder by launching the RTX 4060 Ti one day before AMD launches the RX 7600. Here's a photo of RX 7600 graphics card stacked on a warehouse shelf at one of the undisclosed stores. The cards are not available for purchase, but this serves as further proof that the RX 7600 is indeed launching very soon. It is unclear why Nvidia is not launching the RTX 4060 non-TI simultaneously. After all, the RX 7600 is designed to compete with the RTX 4060, not the 4060 Ti. If you are curious about where I think the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti will end in terms of performance, here is a chart for you. I expect the RTX 4060 to perform about the same as the RTX 3060 Ti and the RTX 4060 Ti to land somewhere in the region of the RTX 3070 or 3070 Ti. So, don't expect anything revolutionary from these two upcoming GPUs. They will be significantly more power efficient than the RTX 3060 and 3060 Ti, but that's about it. And since the prices will most likely be quite high, I don't anticipate the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti to offer any significant value over the previous generation counterparts. Additionally, having just 8GB of memory is not a great selling point either. Some AAA games already require more than that to use ultra-quality textures, even at 1080p resolution. This makes the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti with just 8GB of memory a tough sell, as future games will continue to increase video memory requirements in the years to come. I have published a separate video on this issue. Check it out next if you want to see exactly why buying an 8GB graphics card in 2023 is a very bad idea. If you enjoyed this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you gave it a like and maybe subscribe to the channel for more content like this. It was I, Vadim, until next time.